Good morning, modern steaders. You're never gonna believe this. Are you ready for it? Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. I see dirt and mud, not ice and snow. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, that was a good eye, guys. Good eyes. Thank you for spotting that for me. That would not have been good in one of our tires. Ah. <sighs> See, right here we got mud, oh, mud, and over here, more mud. Oh, but never been so excited for mud. <laughs> so exciting, mud. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. We've been covered in snow here since November 15th of last year. Oh. So for me to see mud, I'm gonna get a little excited. I know it's crazy, but oh, it's been what? November, December, January, February, March. Four, five months since we've seen mud and dirt. Oh, it's been a long time, and that'll make you a little cray cray, if you know what I mean. Come on, and peeps. Don't worry, grass will be coming soon for you girls, too. I know, you can't wait. I don't blame you. I can't wait to clean your coop out. Give you some new fresh bedding. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Let's check and see if the sap's flowing yet. The crazy part is, with how warm it's been, it still hasn't flown at all. Flown. Flew. How would you say that? The sap hasn't started running yet. <sighs> I don't know if because the ground is too frozen or what. Oh, still no sap. Tanner, you want to come feed the chickens? Oh yeah. Sit. Sit down, good boy. Okay, come on. You gonna protect your chickens? You gonna get them some hay first. We need some fresh bedding. You need some fresh bedding. What do you think? Come on, let's get some fresh bedding, Tanner. Come on, this way. Gotta lock him up. Let's go. Come on, Tanner. Tanner, come. Tanner, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Yes, good boy. It's nice that it didn't get below freezing last night. That means we're not dealing with frozen animal water this morning. It's been a while since we haven't had to deal with that either. Back here is pretty slippery. Ah, the goat barn's looking pretty messy. 
It's a sign of spring. I like it. Good morning, girls. Girls, ready for some alfalfa? That's some good hay blossom. Good stuff, huh? Good morning. You girls are silly. You're silly. Oh, you want me to give you a scratching? You want me to come over and say good morning? You do, don't you? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, buttercup. We need to give you a good old brushing. Your winter coat's starting to come out, Willow. That's a good sign. If everything goes as planned, this time next week, <laughs> we'll be on our way to get our new goat for the homestead. Oh, we're so excited for that. There's a few things to line up to make sure that everything goes smoothly to get her here, but hopefully it'll all line up and work out. The weather will stay nice and warm. We'll melt a lot more snow and whew, it's pretty slippery. And it's gonna be fun. Need to find a ridge cap to put on the roof of the pasture pig mobile. A white ridge cap, 38 bucks. Yeah, I don't know about that. Galvanized one. Yeah. Maybe we can paint it. 25 bucks? Yeah, I think we can paint it for that price. I wanted to do the ridge cap today, but it keeps snowing on and off, and it's getting wet. I think we'll have to put the ridge cap on hold for now, but we can work on the side door. I'm just gonna do a little bit of measuring and figuring out how big of a door to make. Now, if I didn't put on such a long overhang, I'd be able to have a door that goes all the way to the top, but I can't do that now because it's gonna hit. I did the overhang for a couple of reasons. One, it'll provide more of an area from the animals to get out when it's raining. Two, it'll provide more shade for the pigs. So the pigs will be able to stay cooler in the summertime and hopefully it'll keep more shade on the building. So if they're inside, it'll be cooler in there. And three or four, however you wanna say it, is it's more of an area to collect water. So we should be able to collect more water every time it rains. The downfall is, is the doorway opening can't be as tall as what I originally planned. We're gonna have to come down to this height. This board we need to cut down to 25 and 7 eighths. Mark our layout. Now 
Now I'm making the door smaller width wise. This way we can utilize some of our leftover plywood and we don't have to go out and buy an extra sheet of plywood for the door. I'm trying to maximize everything that we bought so we'll have the least amount of throwaways and the least amount of items we're purchasing. coming in handy having this little front porch I can use it as my workbench screws. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind or not, but man, it is windy out. Let's check the doorway out, make sure we don't whack our head going in and out. I think since we know it's there and you have a step, it's, not, it's really not bad. One of the big pieces I'm trying to utilize is this leftover piece of three quarter inch thick plywood that we made the ramp out of. So it's 48 inches long. If we cut it in half, we'll be just shy of two feet each direction. And if we put it back together on a door frame, we'll get the height that we need. Use a straight edge and mark it with a pencil, or if you have a chalk line, you can mark it with your chalk line. I'm cutting right on top of snow and ice, so I'm not gonna prop up the plywood off the ground, if that makes sense. But I can set the depth gauge of the skill saw to like seven eighths of an inch thick. There we go. I want a 45 degree angle cut on the end of my two by four. Oh, just like so. Here, like so. So 53 and a half inches. Let's see. 53 and a half inches. Nice. Now we need to go 53 and a half.
power door height right there. Let's build the frame of the door. Ice out of there and there. I'll oh, give myself a half inch gap on the side. That'll give me inch and a for now. I'm gonna tack this board on. I'm assuming these screws are gonna come through, but we'll fix that after. This way I know it's set where I want it to be set. I can take those screws out afterwards. Now I'll flip it. There we go. All right, now we're gonna be using inch and three quarter long screws and we'll screw it from the top side in now i can take off my long screws Two black hinges. I'm using my long exterior screws. This way, we know we're in this 2x4 good. Down low. Hopefully, I can set everything right in place. And then having a two by before here gives us plenty of meat to be able to screw these hinges to. Oh, love it. <laughs> We've got water dripping and it's freezing at the same time. Does that make sense? <laughs> so we got the height. Boom. Closes nicely. And then it'll open up completely and stay open. I feel like I can get in and out easy enough without hitting my head. So I like that. And now out of that four by eight sheet of plywood, that's all we have left over for scrap. We're able to get our walkthrough door out of it and our pig ramp. If you wanted to have a full height door and not this overhang, you would have enough plywood right there to go from here to there. So you'd be able to have a full height door if you didn't have this overhang. The ice is starting to break apart nicely. I like seeing that. You girls eat all your hay. You don't want to come out in the snow, do you? Yeah, 
Yeah, how you doing? We're gonna start combing you, Willow. Her winter coat's coming out nicely. She's shedding. I know when we had horses growing up, man, in the springtime when they were losing their winter coats, they would look so ugly and neglected. I'm assuming Willow's gonna look that way once she lose, once she starts to lose more of the winter coat. Look at the snow, guys. It's just, oh, oh. <laughs> Ah. We're trudging through it. It's gonna be melted within a few weeks. Look at Pluto. You look kind of stuck, Pluto. Look at all those eggs. Good thing I brought the basket. Thank you. Wind's pretty strong. I ended up switching the tomatoes and peppers that were down here under the LED grow light and vice versa. Because these tomatoes are doing so much better that started off under the LED grow light. We'll see if we can get these ones to catch up. Did you guys lay for us today? Oh, you want to watch? That's right, Tanner. I'll leave it open. Hey, Tanner, out. Come on. Tanner, out. You stay out of the coop. Good boy. Wow, a lot of eggs today, guys. A lot of eggs. That basket's almost full. What is the trick to finding which asparagus is the good stuff? I just pick the one that was in front. Yeah, I get overwhelmed. All right, so then the trick is to bend it and it'll break where it needs to go. This is fun. If you want to do this with me, Libby. Wash your hands first, so you just bend it. Oh, yeah, that's the really fun. So they'll all be all different sizes, like this one's right.
Sister. Looks so good. We have had such a long winter here and mother nature or old man winter still doesn't want to let us out of his grasp. We'll get a little bit of a warm up and then it gets cold again and freezes right back up. But this meal that Gina cooked tonight for dinner, man did it remind me of summer. Asparagus and zucchini. It was delicious and I can't wait till we're eating more vegetables out of our garden like this. I know a lot of you guys are ahead of us in a growing season. So what kind of fresh veggies are you eating in your area? Give us some inspiration, guys. Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You are a true blessing to our homestead. Just remember, guys, keep your chin up. Spring's going to be here before we know it. Winter sometimes is dark, but what follows winter is spring and growing, just like seasons of our life. So thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom.